Hey everyone, it's Vivi, and welcome to some Spongebob Rehydrated, IGN's Summer of Gaming event. In their latest livestream, one portion of it, while well, we had a look at Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. And as usual, just looking at this, hype just keeps building up. Look at this, it looks gorgeous. This is right before we enter downtown Bikini Bottom. Look at those textures, look at that new lighting, look at the colors, look at the brightness added, those textures on Squidward's house. It looks so great. As for the build, I can't really guess which one this is, old or new, but I do notice two things. If we go back to early footage of Downtown Bikini Bottom, by early I mean a previous trailer we got for that, while the water sparkly effect is not present on the ground anymore, and before entering downtown Bikini Bottom, the five golden spatula sign is missing. Speaking of downtown Bikini Bottom, this is something we've seen before, a couple of times, but there are new sections we didn't see before, like Sandy talking to Larry. Now there's one thing I've noticed, yes, I'm gonna point it out, Spongebob swing clips through the robot. So like I said before, I'm not too sure which build this is, but it could be one that's closer to the final product. But looking at this scene with Gary, the game just looks polished. And I do feel like this is close to the final version before launch. Everything in Rehydrated just looks much more lively. Overall, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom is just so bright and colorful. It's a complete revamp in visuals, call it a remake, fully running on the Unreal Engine 4. Along with a remastered track, which you can get on Steam for your pre-order. As for the voiceovers in this game, they're the same ones, at least for the English version. There are no new actors, or actors from the actual TV show, for the English version of course. We're still gonna hear the same exact voices. You know the thing I said about Spongebob swing and all that? I did do a lot of breakdown on Rehydrated, I mean it was so much fun. As we're getting closer to, you know, the release of the game, this is basically going to be my last video on it. And yeah, we are getting very close. The game's getting released on June 23rd, 2020, next Tuesday. This game is coming to PC, Switch, PS4, and Xbox for the price of $29.99 US. Unfortunately, the digital pre-order for the PlayStation version is still not up on the PS Store. They said back in April that the PS4 version pre-order would follow at a later date, but we're still waiting. As for the rest, you can now pre-order them digitally or even physically on Amazon. Except for, you know, the PS4 version on the PS Store, digitally. So basically, you can check out GameStop, Walmart, and Best Buy for pre-orders. The game will contain a brand new horde mode, let's not forget, for up to two players, local split screen and online. You have the choice to select one of seven characters, four of which are new additions, Squidward, Roboplankton, Gary, and Krabs. Now in this mode, you might have realized they added Robo Squidward, who was originally cut from the original game. It seems like he's exclusive to Horde mode. Maybe they had difficulty implementing Robo Squidward in the actual story. Now, according to THQ Nordic's producer, Martin Kruch, if I pronounced his name correctly, cut content that was hinted at on their main website when the game was first revealed, while well, they decided to add all that basically in multiplayer mode with a bunch of references here and there. I mean, look at Muscle Bob, SpongeBob right there. It's a reference to that. Any concept you stumble upon as cut content or even cut levels in the original, a lot of it might just appear as references in multiplayer. They haven't specified anything about extra content in story mode. There's going to be up to 26 islands, according to the producer at THQ, and of course it's going to get harder and harder as you progress. And if you're wondering about collector editions, 
Well, we have two variants. The Shiny Edition and Fun Edition. The Fun Edition has a very big, big price tag. $300. Yeah. I know. Whereas the Shiny Edition is $150, with of course less goodies. Now both versions come for all four systems, available for pre-order on GameStop, Amazon, and Best Buy. If you're wondering about the most recent footage, we have Kelp Forest over on THQ Nordic's channel. We have a video by GameSpot, also going over little scenes here and there, and IGN's Summer of Gaming. All the links to these videos will be in the description below. And guys, if you've been watching my Spongebob rehydrated content, thank you. Thank you for the time you take to tune in and watch these videos. It means a lot. And yeah, like I said before, this is probably the last video before the launch of the game. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to share it in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.